So guys, are you ready for high school? Yes, I am. I can't wait. Me too. I can't wait to see what's going to happen today in the school. We are going to have so much fun. I agree. I hope this day will go good to us. Oh really? Not so fast. If you have to deal with us, you three assholes. Oh man, not these troublemakers again. Antonio, Jackson Storm Ant. Who's the tallest one? You better remember it next time or else I will fuck your ass up. My name is Gavin, a troublemaker from the 10th grade. So what we want from you three is to fuck each other up in the ass, you three stupid bitches. Hey, don't say that. Be appropriate and leave us alone if all what you want to do is being disruptive. Ooh, I don't give a fuck so shut the fuck up you idiot who speaks really weird that doesn't know English well, demos. Hey, don't be rude to Miguel. He is Spanish so respect how he talks. Yeah, that's not even funny. Go away right now. We don't care you motherfuckers, how about you three go back to where you came from? We would fuck up your mothers if you will not do that. Stop it. You are guys are way too mean. Get out from our sight right now or else, we will call Mr. Cooper to here. Yeah. You three idiots who should hit themselves with their own dicks. You fucking bastard spelly bitches. Yeah you such motherfuckers who should drink some milk, which means milk is a cum. Yeah you three bad race cars, Jackson Storm is way better than you three pussies. Thanks Antonio, you are the best. No problem dude, anyways, you three motherfuckers, get the fuck out from our sight before something bad gonna happen to any one of you, or all three of you pieces of shit. That is it. Stop it right now, this is your final chance. Stop swearing at us and saying inappropriate things to us or we will get the principal to hear and deal with you three. Shut the fuck up bitch, no one cares, that's it. This is the last straw, the next one who gonna talk like a fucking whore, he will see what's going to happen. That's it, we are getting Mr. Cooper here in. Okay, that's so fucking it, I had enough. Get the fuck over here right now. Wait, Wait don't. What the? Oh my god. It's so hurt. He kicked me hard so bad, help me please. I think I can't move. Help, hospital. Please, help. And that's what happens if you mess up with us like motherfuckers. What in the world? Did you really had to kick Lewis away? He is now needs an ambulance thanks to you. Yeah. What you did was not okay, violence is not allowed here. You should go away right now. I don't care you two stupid yellow race cars that has the color of a pea. You saw right now what happened, you two sons of two bitches. Wow, dude, did you really had to kick him away? That was a bit too far. I agree with Jackson, that was insane. Well, I hope the both of you enjoyed the show, because this is only the start of beating up people. In the future, you'll get used to more and I will teach you more ways to beat up. As for the both of you, Jeff the Smells and Miguel the Jerk, if you are gonna act like fucking whores right now, the one who will act like that is going to be the next. Oh my god, what's going on here? Why Lewis is on the floor hurt and what's all the noise and screaming about? You came in time, Mr. Cooper. One second, who's that woman? Oh, let me introduce myself. I am Mrs. Davis and I am going to be this school's vice principal. I would be in charge when Mr. Cooper is not here. Anyways, back to the topic. What happened here right now, please tell us. Okay, so, Louis, Miguel and I talked together, then Antonio, Gavin and Jackson Storm disturbed us. We told them to go, but they sweared at us, told us inappropriate things and they were disrespectful toward us. After Louis tried to call to you, Antonio ran to Louis and kicked him away, which made him to be hurt. That's everything about what happened. They did what? Oh my god. Thanks for telling us, Jeff and Miguel. We're going to deal with these three right now. Are you three fucking out of your minds? We can't believe you sweared, told inappropriate things and were disrespectful towards three race cars. Do you know that's against the rules? Not to mention, Jackson and Gavin, the both of you are new here. 
We expected from the both of you for a good behavior, but no. An Anto no, swearing, disrespecting and saying inappropriate words is one thing, but kicking away with us? Why you keep this violence? Why you are very violent? I know I am new here, but this violence is not allowed here and from what I heard about you, you keep breaking the rules again and again, no step. How dare you do that? You know what? That's it. Less talk, more actions. Antonio, you are in a big trouble. As for you two, Jackson and Gavin, your trouble will be less worse but still. Miss Davis will be calling to the hospital to get here an ambulance. And you three troublemakers, go with me to my office right now. Wow. Just thanks a lot, Antonio. Yeah. If you didn't kid Lewis, we wouldn't be in trouble in the first place. I said, my office, now. Don't worry about Lewis, everything going to be okay. I will get an ambulance here right now. Okay, thank you, Mrs. Davis. You're welcome. You don't know how mad I am at you three right now, especially at you, Antonio, for being violent. Now, it's time for the consequences. This is what's going to happen. Jackson and Gavin, since it's your first time getting in trouble, the both of you will be suspended for one week each. As for you, Antonio, since it's not the first time you get in trouble and you keep going with the violence on after multiple reminders, you will be suspended for nine months. And one more thing I have to say and it goes only to Antonio. Antonio, this is the last straw. If you will be caught doing something violent once again, you will be expelled. But, no buts. I told you many times to stop with the violence but no, you keep going with it. I don't want this high school to be a dangerous place just because of people like you. Now, I will inform all of your parents. Please leave my office and go home right now while I call your parents. Well Jackson Storm, I'm proud that you didn't take a part with the violence along with one of your troublemaker friends. However, you had a bad behavior today. You still swearied, said inappropriate things, and were very disrespectful to Lewis, Jeff and Miguel along with your two troublemaker friends. That's it, you are grounded for a week, which is how long your suspension is. Go to your room right now and think about what you have done. Gavin, we are happy to hear that you were not violent like one of your friends. However, you still sweared were disrespectful and said inappropriate things to three race cars, do you know saying these things are rude and makes you be a bad person? Don't answer my question, you should know yourself. Anyways, you are grounded for a week. This is also how long you were suspended for, so yes. Now, upstairs to your room and straight to bed. Good job Antonio, really good job. We can't believe you sweared disrespected and said inappropriate things to three race cars in the high school today, but not only that, you kicked away one of the race cars. Why you keep with the violence? Why we need to repeat again and again the same thing? You got suspended for nine months. That's it young man, you are grounded for one year. Nine months because of the suspension, and three months for being violent. And stop throwing tantrums, you're almost fucking 20 years old. Now, get your ass to your room and straight to bed, don't come out until dinner is ready. Now, get the fuck out from our sight. Why? <laughs> um, what happened? What's going on? Lewis, you woke up. So that's what happened. Antonio threw you away, you got hurt then you fainted. Mrs. Davis called an ambulance to take you to here. After that, we go to the off from MRS. Davis and Mr. Cooper to visit you in the hospital. We are here to check up if you're okay. Thanks for visiting me, I appreciate I have friends like you too. Also, I wonder what's going to happen to the three troublemakers. I think I can tell you what happened to them. So, Antonio, the one who kicked you got suspended for nine months and the other two got suspended for a week. How I know. Mrs. Davis told me on phone. And I can't believe Antonio is still being violent to many people. You were not the only one I met, there were others who got sent to ear because of him, why he never changes. Yay, we also heard about him before, 
He is one of the craziest people in John's Futures universe. I don't know why he keeps being violent. Yeah, me too. I don't know why he is doing these terrible things. I agree. Let's hope one day we can figure out what's going on with Antonio, so we will know what's happening and why he keeps being violent. Yeah.